Hello, I'm Leo Sullivan, and this is my review of the hotel we stayed at at Rui uh, Balata. I'm not much of a travel vlogger because I think I've even uh, actually pronounced that wrong. But anyway, uh, it was a holiday from Tui, and I'm just going to go through some very basic uh, reviews really because I'm going to try and do this in one take because uh, I haven't got a lot of time to edit it. So hopefully, I'll get it all done in one take. Right, let's start off with uh, get in there. I need to warn you, if you're going to do this or go to Mexico, one, one thing I will warn you is when you get off the plane and you go towards the exit to meet your reps outside, do not get conned into talking to timesharers. Okay, there are some uh, salesmen just on the exit of the airport. What they will try and do, they will try and find out what holiday company you're with and they will pretend, okay, they will pretend to be with that company and give the information about where you need to be meeting people, all right? They're conning you. All right, my, unfortunately my wife got involved with talking to them and I was telling her, no, no, we need to meet the TUI reps outside. There is no, no reps are allowed to meet inside the airport. So if you meet anybody from inside the airport who claim to be from your holiday reps, then they're probably lying, okay? Because the holiday reps are only allowed to meet their customers outside the airports. Basically what they're trying to do, they're trying to get you involved in a conversation and then try and sell you timeshares, okay? I did get a bit heated over it because one of them was adamant that it was from Tui, but he wasn't. Okay, so just be careful with that. Now, once we did meet our Tui rep, um, I thought I can't remember her name, I feel really bad. But it was nice that uh, she had four years experience on the resort that we're staying. So she was well experienced in everything uh, involved with the area, basically. When we actually got to the hotel, check-in was great because we didn't get off the coach until the actual driver got all the luggage off the coach and into the hotel. So we was able to sit in the air-conditioned coach rather than stand outside waiting for our luggage to be taken off. All the check-in details were done before we got there, so there was no massive queue to check in. And also, being Mexico, you're greeted with a uh, shot of tequila, which they called Mexican water. Uh, okay, right, let's go on to the rooms. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get any photographs of the room. I can't believe I didn't do that, but I didn't get any photograph and no real footage of the actual room was taken. But I liked the room. Uh, we had a nice balcony. It was on the eighth floor, which was which gave great views of the beach and the actual whole complex itself. So you can see all the pools, you can see all the entertainment going on from the eighth floor. It was, it was a nice room. Um, what did I like about it? The air conditioning obviously was great. <laughs> one, of the, one of the best things I've seen, and I've never seen it before in a hotel, is it actually had um, optics for you. So you had a bottle of vodka, a bottle of brandy, um, a bottle of tequila, obviously, all on optics. So you can just help yourself in your own room. Because it's an all-inclusive holiday, it was all free. The fridge was also stocked up with a, with a few bottles of beer, some coke, a few bottles of water. So in the middle of the night when you're thirsty, you was able to go to the fridge and be a nice cold bottle of water. Uh, right, let's go on to the pools, all the important pools. Um, now, to be honest, they looked nice from the outside and this is a slight negative really. I found the pools too warm, that's a weird thing to say, but when it's like 35 degrees and they're starting to burn, you really want to get a dip into a nice cold pool, but unfortunately, as the day grew on, they become very warm. It's like getting into a bath sometimes. So yeah, by mid-afternoon, they were too warm for me personally. And other people might like the warm water. I presume it's the sun making it warm. It wasn't going yellow anyway, so it's fine. It's one of the first times I've seen a pool get a little bit dirty, I think. And I can't, I might be wrong about this. So and I, I don't want to claim anything, but it just felt like the actual filters were never turned on. And most times when I go in a pool on the holiday, you can hear the gurgling and the, and the pump system working to you know filter out all the rubbish that goes in the pool. Um, I didn't hear any of that. Uh, I didn't feel the filters are on at all. So when you've got bugs and leaves and there's just things floating around that you don't normally see in a hotel pool and it's, it's a little bit off-putting. I didn't spend too much time in a pool to be honest. Probably the only disappointing thing about the whole thing. They weren't bad, I'm not saying they were like brown and they, they were you know, disgusting. I'm not used to having pools where the filters aren't turned on so Maybe they were broken that week, I don't know. It was a bit of a turn off really. On a positive note, there were plenty of sunbeds to go around. Uh, it wasn't one of those hotels you had to get up at five o'clock in the morning just to get a sunbed, unless you wanted the sunbed right next to the pool. I think people were still getting up at five, planting their um, towels down or claiming their sunbeds. Even though there's big notices everywhere saying, please do not put towels down on the beds unless you're going to be using them. You know, some people go down there at five o'clock, put their towels down and actually go back down to the pool about 10, to about 10 o'clock. So it was a bit annoying, but there were plenty of beds to go around. And also there's also the, the swim up bar as well. So 
you don't actually have to leave the pool to go to the bar, which was a nice touch, you know, it's a bit novel, but <laughs> I'm not sure how true this is, but I was told a horrible story by one of the guests. He's been, he was there for his second week, and he said, yeah, the swim up pool's really nice, but what he said to me was that he was drinking with some American guys there, and what he found was that the American guys never went to the toilet, and he works out why, because they were basically sitting at the bar in the pool, drinking and just peeing straight into the pool. There was no need, they didn't want going to the toilet. So that put me off a little bit about going too near the bloody swim up pool. How true that was, I don't know, but he said it quite genuine and it made sense really, because there was a few guys there who were sitting by the pool for a very long time without going for a wee. For me, I had three or four drinks and I'm in and out of the toilet, but. Okay, let's go on to the food. The hotel was great, it had three or four great restaurants okay one was the buffet they had so much selection of food it was unbelievable there's no point in me listening to what they, what they had because it'll take too long but what i will say is the food's great okay i always get a bit worried about all inclusive hotels whether the food's going to be up to scratch but yeah the food here was great it's all it always looks fresh so many varieties obviously they had the mexican uh food there but they try to cater for everybody so if you're someone from England who just likes eating normal food. There was plenty of normal food, as I call it there. So they do chips, pizzas, chicken, curries, everything you can wish for, really. And the ice cream, oh, the ice cream is amazing. Just help yourself to ice cream. Staff were great in the restaurants. The waiters and waitresses were very quick to get to a table. They were very helpful, very polite, always waiting to top up your drinks, uh, always there to take your plates away. So I can't fault the staff, they were great. The only negative thing I found about the restaurants in the morning and in the afternoon especially was they had birds inside the restaurant okay there were these birds all around the hotel i think they're related to the starlings they made their way into the restaurant quite easily and they were never really shooed away all they are do all they're there for is to wait for people to leave their plates at the, dinner, at the table and then they'll start eating the food eating the food that you left behind obviously they didn't go near you when it's eating but they could get as close to the next table next to you and if there's any food left on the table they'll just fly on the table and start eating it it's a bit off-putting sometimes, especially up in the afternoon at lunchtime. Entertainment-wise, I quite enjoy the entertainment. I don't normally enjoy the entertainment in most all-inclusive hotels. I find them either too cheesy, too childish, or just very amateurish, to be honest. And yeah, I'm, I must admit, I don't really pay a lot of money to see you know, Vegas-style entertainment, but the entertainment we had at this hotel was, was good. I think the first one we saw was a Michael Jackson tribute uh, dance act. Well, brilliant. Uh, very well choreographed and you know it, it, it was a professionally done thing you know it didn't just turn up it wasn't just the reps basically dressed up as Michael Jackson they were a proper sort of dance act. Okay the beach luckily this hotel was right on the beach and the beach was very clean the water it wasn't one of those see-through sort of sea sides you know where you can see your feet in the sea it wasn't one of those it was a little bit choppy in the afternoons between one o'clock and I'd say six o'clock, the, the tides changed and, the, the, and the, the wind did get a bit breezy. It was very breezy when we, every afternoon. It's one of those uh, things that happens every afternoon there where I don't know how it works, whether it's the tide or just the natural weather systems there, but in the afternoon it's very windy. So the, wind, so the sea does get a bit choppy, but people love it because they can stand there and get bashed by waves, a little bit of body surfing. And because of the the wind, there's a lot, lots of kite surfing. If you're into kite surfing, you'll love that. Slight downside again on the beaches, and it's not not the hotel's fault, not the holiday rep's fault, no one's fault. Basic nature. Again, got told by one person who's been there for a week or so. He said, "Yeah, if you enjoy the sea, just be careful of the sea snakes." I thought, oh, what sea sea snakes? I never I thought it was a myth. No, he did say that uh, there were sea snakes in the uh, sea on the beach and uh, we actually found some. We went for a walk along the beach and we actually found a good three or four sea snakes washed up on the beach and yeah, they, they looked horrible because they had teeth. They are a little bit bigger than eels um, with teeth. Uh, so I didn't go in the sea once I found that out. But loads and loads of sunbeds, hundreds of sunbeds. You never, never miss a sunbed there. You would never miss out on a sunbed on the beach. So the complex as a whole, very nice. Shiny, marble effect. Everything was clean. Um, there's a beautiful water fountain running through the middle of the complex as well, which is a really nice touch. It's really well done. Staff were great. I couldn't fault the staff. Bar staff, um, okay. Not Again, not their fault, but sometimes the bars got a little bit busy and it was difficult to get a drink sometimes. Uh, and they weren't very good at managing the queue, if you like. What I did find was that because there were Mexican guests there, obviously Mexican waiters and Mexican bar staff, I did find the Mexican people were able just to walk to the bar and get served straight away. But 
I expected that. I think the same thing would happen in England. But uh, it's just a little one of those little tiny annoying things when you've been waiting for a drink and then you get someone who just literally walks to the bar but because they're Mexican they get served straight away by the Mexican waiters and the Mexican bar staff. But didn't worry too much about that. It's just one of those things. Yeah, the drinks were amazing. Plenty of cocktails. And the good thing about the bars were that the spirits and liquors they were all well-known brands, okay? So none of the uh, sort of local brands, it's all well-known brands that you'll get in England. So it, it was nice. Overall, I loved it. I loved the hotel. It was such a nice holiday. It, it, was, it, was, it done what it meant to do, just to chill out and relax without having to worry too much about where you're staying. The only negative thing, and it's not a huge negative thing, I wouldn't say I'd never went in a pool. It wasn't like you know, floating turds or anything like that. It was just a little bit off-putting during the middle of the day when the pool was a little bit too warm for me and I just didn't think the, the, the filter system was doing its job. Food was great, entertainment was great, staff great, great location, great weather. So yeah, I would recommend it. If I had to give it out of 10, I'd go eight. And I'm losing the two marks just because of the pool. If the pool was cold, cleaner, I've never been to a resort where the swimming pool is totally 100% clean, but yeah, it loses marks just because the poor did let me down a little bit that's about it i think if you've enjoyed this quick review leave some comments if you've been to the hotel already so that's it for me this has been day 60 something as well of my 100 days vlog i can't remember what day it is 65 66 something like that 66 i think and uh i'll see you again tomorrow with something completely different as usual cheerio